Hey, this is Mark from Magnolia Oaks Woodshop, and today I'm going to be doing another X-Tool Creative Space uh, video. And today we're going to show you how to create a materials test card for uh, the X-Tool Creative Space for your new uh, X-Tool laser. So for the P2s, the D1s, the D1 Pros, the M1s, whatever it might be. Uh, if you're using the Creative Space software versus Lightburn, um, they made it really, really easy, but it's not uh, completely clear how to use the functionality. So with Xtool, you know you have to have a materials test card um, file, and then you uh, it's either manually uh, added the different speeds and powers, or uh, it comes preloaded with a different layer. So I'm going to open up Xtool Creative Space, and what I'm going to do is basically uh, you can see that I'm connected to my P2 right here, and so I'll do a new file, new project, and then I'm going to insert a rectangle. And you can make this any size. I'm going to make it, I'm going to unlock the dimensions, make it one by one. That's probably pretty large. However, and I'm doing it, this is in inches. Uh, it doesn't appear to add, allow for decimals, so probably 0.5 would be more usable. Um, but we're going to do this, and then I'm going to highlight it, and you go array, materials test array. So you can see it's already created uh, a default. Uh, array. So what we want to do is just make sure that this all matches for us. So uh, 10 to 100 power is fine for me. Uh, I would like the speed to go up to at least uh, 500. And then we want to add a few more rows to be able to see um, you know, more detailed view of exactly how that's going to burn. So this is again uh, a test card that you're going to use um, you know, when you're testing out new materials with your P2 or whatever model that you have. I have a P2 and it's very different uh, on the settings uh, than a D1, for example. You know, it's 55 watts versus 10 watts. So, um, I got to know what exact settings I need to use to get the effect I'm looking for. So, in this case, I've gone through, um, don't worry about the size of this, you can resize it, but I'm doing 10 to 100 and then 10 to Let's see if it's, it defaults back to 250. So, uh, so I guess 250 is the fastest they'll let you go. So what we'll do is we'll say OK. And then the more columns and rows you get, you add, obviously, the more detailed um, information that you'll get. So this is too big. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to resize it. And I probably need to hit the Shift key when I do that. So I'm going to do select, hit the Shift key. That way everything will resize uniformly. So uh, now in, um, in Lightburn, what you would expect to see is each of these to be on a different layer with a different power and speed selected. That way um, the laser knows that each of these squares is supposed to be you know, a certain uh, you know, power and speed. However, on this what it does is it makes everything on one layer so if you click over here and you look, you can't see anything. Uh, it just shows uh, power 180 speed. Um, what, it, what you should actually do, now I'm going to go back. Now I've hit engrave and it's messed it up. Let me see if I can go back to score. Okay. So score is right here. I'm going to bring it back. And so what you have to do is everything's grouped together. Uh, all the settings are actually... Uh, included in each of these squares. So the power and, and the speed is actually already pre-coded into these. However, you wouldn't know that unless you do an ungroup. So I'm going to do, it's already ungrouped. So first thing that you would have done, it would have been grouped and you would go ungroup. So after it's ungrouped, then you can click on each of these and you can see over here. So score, power 10, speed 250. 250 speed, 10 power. Okay, we'll go right here. It should be uh, 50 speed and 70 power. So it is. We go right here, and it should be 85 power, 210 speed, and it is. So you can see all the information is already preloaded, which saves you a ton of time, especially you know when you're doing this on multiple uh, new types of material. So um, this it's really a great feature. It's just a little confusing how it was implemented. Uh, in the creative space and then 
it's really great that you can resize everything and get it to the size that you want to be so you don't waste any more material than you absolutely have to. But uh, the, the speed and power settings are already built into this materials test array, which is awesome. Uh, I just want to clarify for everybody out there, um, as you go out there, you don't need a test card. You can automatically uh, create these uh, for you inside of the Xtool Creative Space software. So I uh, hope that was helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments or, or know of um, more information that, that maybe you'd like to share, leave it down in the comment. I'd love it if you subscribe to the channel and uh, uh, let's, let's meet and talk. So uh, I appreciate you. And my name is Mark with Magnolia Oaks Woodshop. And I'll see you on the next one.